speak now or forever hold your peace. Have you ever been to a wedding where anyone has actually objected to the, hey, does anyone object to this wedding right happening right now? No, well, I haven't, um, have you? But comment down below if you have, I would love to hear it, but I all feel so sorry for that couple if that's true. I'm a wedding planner. I'm gonna check out a story from r slash wedding shaming called Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace by Taka Taka. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. But if you are planning your wedding, I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. Check it out. Don't forget to snuggle up to that like button and, you know, give a nice, nice little peck to that subscribe. But keep it PG for me as always, okay? Let's dive into this story. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Have you ever witnessed or heard of somebody actually object during a wedding ceremony when they say, speak now or forever hold your peace? I always wondered if people do it sometimes. Spill the tea, please. Yes, please spill the tea. I need to know because I've heard this phrase and it's weird. I like, I don't think like most people don't include this anymore at all, but some still do. I don't know why, honestly, it seems so old fashioned, but maybe that's just me. Your traditions are probably could be different. Rottweiler bridesmaid wrote, one, I was just a guest at the wedding. The mother of the groom objected. The reason she gave at the time was that the bride was pregnant with another man's baby. Well, bride side of the family knew that wasn't true and was telling groom's mum that it was BS. Ooh, we have some British rage here. They've already used the word mum. The bride ended up telling everyone about her cancer that she had during her childhood, how she beat it and unable to have children. Oh my God, there's layers. Mum turned to groom and said about bride can't give him any kids and other horrible stuff. So first, okay, wait, pause. We're pausing for a second. She was like, you're pregnant with another man's child. And then mom's, the bride's parents are like, are you kidding me? And the bride is like, I had cancer and I can't have kids anymore. Okay, we're here now. I just want to know what that even looks like during a ceremony. I don't know what I would do as a coordinator. I don't think you can stop that because you got to let that unfold. You got to let that rage unfold. Let's keep going. The groom reveals that he had the snip and don't want kids. So he has a vasectomy. <laughs> Oh no, the mother of the groom was dragged out by groom's dad and uncles after 20 minutes. 20 minutes, the wedding was back on track. That's so long. They would just, what it would be like to be a guest in that wedding. I think I would be like putting this in the memory bank right now just to have this as a story for later. A clearly Rottweiler bridesmaid did. <sighs> Before the wedding day, the mother hated the bride. Well, no kidding. You wouldn't do that if you didn't hate the bride. Apparently the mother thought her son will stay with her forever. We need to have a talk about toxic parenting. That might be for another day. You have kids so that they can grow up, right? You have kids so that they can grow up. Continuing on. But her son is not a mama's boy, not happy with her trying to reattach the umbilical cord and does everything that he can to get away from her. This sounds it's like a really toxic parent. This is why there was like a New York Times article I read recently. It might've been New Yorker, I don't remember, but um, it was about how more and more kids, adult children, so like people my age, like in their 20s and 30s, and so like adult children in that they're like, they're someone's kid. Everyone is someone's kid, right? So like more and more people are abandoning their parents and, it, and people are puzzled as to why that is. And I'm like, I've talked to so many friends and I like, I don't know about you, but I just know so many people who have. And it's like me personally, I'm very lucky that I never want to be in that situation. My parents, my parents personally are wonderful, but I'm like, I know so many people who don't have very good parents. They're too controlling and it's just a lot. And I'm like, there's like, yeah, I, I can't. That is just, that sounds like a reason to cut the, the cut the cord, cutting that umbilical cord. She did write an edit that said, I should have made it clear that the bride wasn't pregnant at all and the groom's mom was making up the lie to stop the wedding. So it's like, 
they should have like, I feel like they shouldn't have even asked the question at all, especially if they knew that she was coming. I and mean, they probably knew that she was a troublemaker. So they, they could have assigned someone to like sit down next to her and just <laughs> like my recent Karen needs a date <laughs> video, check check that out. Um, it's like she needed someone to keep her busy. Another story by live underscore Western underscore 1389 wrote, my brother-in-law loudly objected at the rehearsal and everyone had a big laugh. The next day in the ceremony, when the minister asked that question, the whole bridal party turned towards his brother and glared at him for about 10 seconds before we all broke into laughter. So at least, at least they had fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> that that's kind of like sweet and innocent. So further reading, it sounds like this question is required in England and Wales. So it's not required in the United States, at least not in any state I've lived in, which is about 11 of them. I've lived in 11 states. Andronicus Park wrote, this reminds me of an AITA where the OP wanted to know if she was an asshole responding with, I object, the couple is just too cute during her sister ceremony, thinking it would be an adorbs moment, a total adorbs moment to remember her. I mean, the bride by. <laughs> Turns out it was in fact not adorbs. OP got an eye full of people telling her there are places that take objections even as jokes seriously. Yikes. Uh, EMR830 wrote, I, who thinks that's a good idea? Holy S, what was she smoking? Yeah, it's like, it's just, the ceremony is not the time to be funny, folks. It's just not the time to be funny. Cause if there's, upon further reading, it looks like, especially in England and Wales, if there is an objection, the entire wedding is actually off because it has to be investigated. And it's like, don't do that. You know, don't be, joking because that's could be really bad really awkward and not very tasteful also if you are planning a wedding check out the free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below although i guess like all this drama applies more to being a guest oh we have another good one okay i found another good one hot underscore price underscore 2808 wrote yeah what i thought was a drunk friend of the groomsman did it as a joke and everyone was fuming and he got asked to leave, refused so, so he got physically removed. All he said was something like, yeah, cause bros need to come before hoes, was very cringe. Turns out he doesn't even drink and was just cringe. Smashed together writes, sounds like his objection was that the groom wasn't marrying him. That's one. I mean, like, that's, I mean, hey, you know, I'm, they continued by writing. Karai Eclipse asked, do you know if the couple was still able to get married that day? In some places, even a prank objection means the officiant is required to stop the ceremony and cannot marry the couple that day. Sorry you had to experience that secondhand cringe. Hot Price 2808 wrote, Yes, I believe by law that they have to stop, but this guy carried on anyway being a rebel. The guy that was removed is really angry because it was a joke and they took it seriously. He is lucky he was just removed and not beaten. Yeah. I would be so... So if I was the bride, I would just have, I would have probably, there would have been flames shooting out of my eyes. That doesn't sound healthy. Maybe not a good idea. I would have been throwing something. Okay, I have one more story for you guys. Jen Regina wrote, so yeah, my aunt got married for the first time at age 50. Oh, that's sweet. She has several brothers all at the ceremony. They asked the officiant to include the speak now line. At that moment, all the brothers stood up with BB guns and pretended to scare off any naysayers. <laughs> okay, that was a delightful break and what was a very emotional ceremony. So they just like got up and were really threatening. They're like, all right, here we are. Better not say objection, better not. Oh my gosh, I think that would be funny. That sounds so redneck. Does that sound redneck to you? Because that sounds redneck to me. And also, like, they, where would they have held the guns? Would they under the chairs? I just don't want to see a video of this. Like, or were they just holding them, like, in the front row? Like, what? I, I just, like, where were the guns? I, that just sounds like such, like, um, an American Midwest, like... <laughs> <laughs> kind of wedding, such a country wedding kind of thing. Oh man, that's so funny. So if you liked my content, don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. And also I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. If you want to check that out, check that out. Woo, all right, here we go. Let's go on to the next video.